When I saw Jay-Z endorse Hillary Clinton, I was like, why would he do that? Why would Jay-Z endorse Hillary Clinton? I started panicking. Y'all, why in the hell would Jay-Z endorse Hillary Clinton? And then I was like, he got paid. <laughs> he got paid. I was like, oh, holy, he got paid. Did you know that? They get paid to go and say vote Democrat. The greatest American alive. When I first heard that Jay-Z and Nas, that black Republican, man, I was like, I was so angry. I was mad at these two men because they said the word black Republican. I thought that was like an oxymoron. These two things just do not go together, right? I had been so brainwashed to believe that being black meant to be a Democrat. And now all of a sudden, as I'm an adult now, right, I look back, I was like, man, I was just a child. Oh my goodness, I was just a little baby. And now that I'm all grown up, black men are powerful. Men in America are exceptionally powerful. We have to frame every conversation that way we should start with power and then we enter into negotiation yes stacy abrams i can actually hear the words that you use to talk about black men and i'm not a misinformed person i completely understand you were just at a lotto concert talking about i got the big microphone i just want to remind you that you believe it's my body and my choice you told a hundred thousand women to send that sweet baby to Jesus. That's what you did. I have no idea if Lotto's concerts get a hundred thousand people. I don't know. However big your concerts are, Miss Lotto, uh, she told all those wonderful women to send their sweet babies to see Jesus because we won't have a conversation about sexual responsibility. Having a conversation about sexual responsibility is like, oh my God, I should just be able to sleep with whomever I want, however many times I want, and just just murder as many babies as I want. What kind of logic is that? Why would you even push that type of philosophy? That's scary. That's terrifying. I'm not a misinformed person. I'm completely aware. And being black don't mean being a Democrat. But then if I say Republican, when I say conservative, you say white supremacy, you say white supremacist. How the hell can I be a black man who believes in family be a white supremacist? I'm pro-family. I'm pro-freedom of speech. I believe every American should be able to defend themselves. Yes, the Second Amendment, baby, hey, carry that pistol. Protect yourselves. Some niggas is wild. Some people are wild. These are facts. These are human beings. If we do not get engaged politically, then we just give our power away. In real life, we got real power. In politics, we don't have no power. In the media, we have very little power. And so we got to tell better stories, better stories. Yes, I have to negotiate with my baby mama all the time, right? But she has to actually negotiate with me. She's not negotiating with a lawyer. She's not going to a court. She talks to me. And so I get to defend myself in real time. Sometimes she makes decisions decisions unilaterally that's a political issue being a father in america is a political issue what's up man having that conversation is power sharing our real lives is political power me talking about my baby mama is my real life that's real power you know how i know because a lot of you is going through the exact same thing i know women i know you know how much power you have you know how much power you have women <laughs> and you like it power is good it's fucking intoxicating it is if we tell the truth we can have honest conversations right power is intoxicating it makes you feel good it's like a dopamine here pow i got me some power i know it i want some too give me some of that huh I, I know how hard it is to negotiate murdering a person i know how hard that is and so for the young woman who's really going through it can we talk to her directly how do we get you into a financial position to where you feel comfortable to having that child ain't that more better than saying let's just send that baby to go see uh jesus it's my body and my choice to actually talk about the economic and social impact of this young woman and her life her earning power so that she can be a whole and autonomous person so that she can be financially viable in this wonderful society. Can we have that conversation? When I saw Jay-Z endorse Hillary Clinton, I was like, why would he do that? Why would Jay-Z endorse Hillary Clinton? I started panicking. Like, why in the hell would Jay-Z endorse Hillary Clinton? And then I was like, he got paid. <laughs> <laughs> he got paid. I was like, oh, holy, he got paid. Did you know that? They get paid to go and say vote Democrat. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce are just the black face of white politics. Hi. <laughs> In reality, I just feel like a wonderful human being, but like more specifically, right? I'm feeling like a black Republican money I got coming in. Can't leave the hood alone. Too much love for them. As soon as you abolish child support, we're going to have an economic boom. Just boom. It's going to be a resurgence of family, all types of shit. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fucking amazing. That's a political issue. That's a male political stance. Abolishing child support is a male political stance. Boom. What's up? What's up, man? Let's negotiate. You want me to vote for you, don't you? I will vote for Stacey Abrams. I can't vote for Stacey Abrams. I will vote for people like Stacey Abrams. I will vote for people like Stacey Abrams if you abolish child support. <laughs> I will vote for I will vote Democrat for the next 10 years if you abolish child support. 
What's up? Put something on the table. Shake some. Shake some. I'm feeling like a black Republican. Money I got coming in. That means I'm negotiating. I'm feeling like a black Republican. Keep messing with me, huh? I'll double dutch on your ass. I'm not coming back until you put a child support on the table. What's up? I want that. I need that. Democrats can't buy me. I'm not Jay-Z. I will not accept no Democratic check. What's up? <laughs> Republicans, you can't buy me. I will not accept a Republican check. Never. <laughs> I will vote for any political party that, that the boss is child support. Touchdown, field goal. That's where we're starting it. That's the negotiation. Let's do it. The greatest American alive, baby. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.